In this video, I will show you how to install PostMarket OS on a micro SD card for the Pine phone on Ubuntu 19.10. Oh. If you don't already have Git, to git clone https gitlab.com slash postmarket os pm bootstrap.git alright and then change directory to what git just installed will be pm bootstrap.py is in it. Uh, that's fine. <coughs> I've already done this before, so it does say Pine64 is my default. I think it was Samsung before. So don't just hit enter. Yeah, this also, uh, this defaults, I think, to Weston. I did, uh, Plasma Mobile Extras. Uh, there's no point in changing that. I uh, do like to try to add Nano. And, uh, I'm not in Los Angeles. That's probably my, uh, VM throwing a little fit there. That's your host name. I remember the zap command next time I screw this up. So now we're going to do the install SD card dev. Ooh. At, uh, at least the, uh, the forum it says MMC BLK0. Uh, that is not the case on my computer, or I should say my VM. It's actually SDE. This is the SD card that I am aiming for. Uh, yeah, you just hit enter. This is going to take a little while. Actually, a long while. doing something. <clears throat> Alright, so if uh, you haven't done this before yourself, and you've made it this far into the video, this is the first actual tip I'm going to give, because I already messed this up once. It's asking for a new password right here. Uh, use a set of numbers. Treat this like a PIN number, especially if you're doing the, uh, the Plasma Mobile. Because that phone will lock on you, and uh, when you go to type in a password, you'll see that little keyboard pop up for like a split second, and it'll get kind of covered up by their, uh, their, their number pad. First time I did that, I had to reboot the phone, open up terminal, and uh, do the password command to change my password to a bunch of numbers. Let's 
Let's see, how long did that take? Right around here. Yes, that takes a little bit of time, good 10 minutes. At least on my, uh, my computer takes 10 minutes. I think when this gets done installing, I'm going to take a quick peek at the file system before I go throw it in my phone. doing something again here. Uh, kind of looks like it just formatted and mounted. It's copying now. So that last step took about eight minutes. Two minutes less than the ten minute step up here, so that's not too bad. Let's see what are we up to total so far. Oh, can't count for the git clone, that probably took a minute. Fifty six. So I but I guess it's probably about twenty minutes in now. Looks like we're done with that, so now you just have to type in shutdown just as it says right above it. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for that. I now have a SD card that will boot Pine, uh, I mean boot, uh, sorry, <laughs> boot Postmarket OS on my Pine phone. at this. Got the boot. Looks like your standard Linux boot directory. Pretty sure the CXT2. And the root. Looks like your very standard uh, Linux directory. Very standard actually. I like that. That's kind of the whole point of it.
microphone. I am not using the uh, the modem, so I just have that off. So first, I thought I was going to have to take this battery out to get the SD card in, but that's actually for the SIM card. The SD card. Oops, a little hard to do with the camera. Just goes right in on the top. It plugs in. Doesn't even spring in there. It just clips in. I like this uh, interesting back cover. It actually has the sides and the, uh, the buttons built into it. Let's see the... Take a look at those pads there. It's like the whole back of the phone, though, just comes right off. See, and they've even got a little spot there for you to get your fingernail in to pop that back cover off, just on one side. Boot this thing up now that I got that SD card in it. Hopefully it's got a charge. Oh, there she goes. first boot. Alright, there we go. We're back here. Let's find fine pine. Just double check something here. And this this always gets me too because I'm used to uh, apt and this is APK. Very similar, but it is add, not install. So this looks like I have to set a wallet. So one second. Not that it really matters. It'll probably not be my uh, the OS I ultimately run on here. I mean, I am looking to replace my uh, Samsung S7. Yeah, not sure uh, if that error is actually an error, or if they just needs a lot of polish, it looks like. But that's, I guess, what we're here for, right? So let's go right back to terminal. Hopefully I don't have to retype all that. Nope, there it is. Oh, there, you got it. 
So I'm going to be doing the rest of this from uh, poking around through SSH.